you ever wish you could change the fan speed on your framework laptop? Well, I'm here to show you some software that can do that. I'll show you how to install it, how to use it, and what's in store for fan control on Windows for the framework laptop. Before we get started, we do have to disable secure boot by hitting function F2 while it's booting up. And then we're going to go to the boot section to secure boot. And then we're going to go down to the secure boot thing and we're going to say disable. And then we're going to do a function F10 over here. And that's going to save and exit. We're going to hit OK. And that's going to restart the laptop. Go to the framework Windows Utilities GitHub and then click Releases. Scroll all the way down to Assets and hit the zip file here. And it should download like that. Now that we've got the zip file, we're going to scroll back up to the top and there's going to be a command that we're going to copy and paste into a command prompt. So we're going to go ahead and copy. And then we're going to go and we're going to open a command prompt as administrator. We're going to say OK. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to paste that command in, hit enter. And it should say that the operation was successful. If secure boot is still on or there's something still encrypted, there's going to be an error message here. At this point, we are going to need to restart for the changes to take effect. Now that we are back in, we're going to copy the second command here. But first, let's go to our directory where we extracted the tool. And we're going to copy that. We're going to go back to our command prompt that's run as admin. We're going to do a CD and then space, enter the directory, and then enter. It's going to get us into the directory. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab that second command there, copy. And we're going to paste it into the command prompt here. Enter. Now I've already installed this, so there shouldn't be any prompt. We should see something that says install a driver. And lastly, we're going to run the Fox EC tool command. We're going to copy and paste that into our run as admin command prompt. We should see a bunch of characters that show up on the screen. That means it did run successfully. And here are some different commands you can run. D00 is zero. And D32 is half speed. And then finally, D64 is full speed. And then there's a command to return it back to auto fan speed. So here's my software handheld control panel, and uh, I am reworking this. But I wanted to show you that there is a bunch of fan control built in for Windows handhelds. And uh, as you can see here, there's some fan adjustments. There's even a fan curve section. And I want to bring that to the framework community. Um, I did talk to the developer of the driver and he is making a much easier one that isn't so difficult to install, which is going to be great for everyone. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe. And thanks for watching.